I think you should know that the last time I did this, it made me feel quite sick. Mm, not this time, my darling. Not with me. Welcome to the 1246 Skyways roller coaster. We hope you will have a pleasant and enjoyable journey. Lunch is now being served in the Buffett car. Thank you. Uh, oh, good afternoon, sir. Madam. <laughs> uh, sir, may I suggest the uh, avocado vinaigrette, sir? Or the Dublin Bay prawn, madam? Uh, what soup? Oh, it's, uh, minestrone. Ah, yeah, I think we might start with that, don't you? Wonderful day. Amelia Goldheart. Oh, how appropriate. Your name is Goldheart, and you have a heart of gold. Yes, and your name is O'Campton, <laughs> and you have a heart of gold as well. Darn. Darn. <gasps> but fate was to deal a cruel blow. The next day I realized that something ghastly had taken possession of my colleagues at work. I couldn't quite put my finger on what it was. <coughs> Morning. 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 <coughs> Am I interrupting anything? No. No. Where have all my plants gone? They've, uh, they've uh, escaped. Escaped? Yes. To be honest, Miss Goldheart, we let them go. Yes. Don't you realize how cruel it is to keep plants cooped up all day long in pots? <laughs> What on earth are you talking about? And now, if you will excuse us, we have got things to do. What sort of things? Things? Far too ghastly and sinister to talk about. <laughs> Miss Flexicab. <laughs> They've both gone mad. What on earth is happening to everybody around here? Brinsley. <laughs> Hello, Brinsley. Could you come over right away? There's something gone terribly wrong here. What? You'll be over as soon as you can, so I must keep calm and try not to panic, and everything will be okay. I'll see if it isn't. <laughs> All right, then. Bye. Keep calm. Keep calm. Take my mind off it. Using a grapefruit and a pair of pliers. <laughs> uh, put them. And the ashes of former soccer star Jimmy Payne were scattered across the pitch before today's cup tie between Fulham and Crystal Palace. Payne's was later voted man of the match. And now the main news stories again for mind readers. <laughs> And that's it for tonight. A time now for another edition of Down the Trousers. Live from Highgate Cemetery, we invite you once again to go Down the Trousers. Introduced as always by Godfrey Sleeve. <laughs> Hello and welcome. And let's meet tonight's celebrity panel who are going to play Down the Trousers. First of all, Ronald Reagan's hairdresser and Avon lady from Mount Rushmore, Bonte Beaumont. Good evening. <laughs> Next to him, an actress who's so stupid, she asked Percy Edwards to teach her how to do a curtain call. Felicity Plunge. Hello. 
And finally, the man who's done for quiz programmes what Oscar Wilde did for a fiver, Barry Cryer. Hello. Well, a quick reminder of the rules, then. An ordinary member of the public will come on in just a second, and the panel, hello, panel, will have to guess what, if anything, he's got down his trousers. So can we have the first contestant signing in, please? This is Mr. Albert Scrimshaw, and he's got a fruit bat down his trousers. A fruit bat down his trousers. Now, panel. I can tell you that the thing down Mr. Scrimshaw's trousers is animal with vegetable connections. Bunty. Mr. Scrimshaw, good evening. Good evening. Now... Is this something, uh, is this something I'd like to have down my trousers? It probably is, Bunty, but that's, but that's your problem. I see. Uh, does it nibble nuts? Uh, I'm sorry. But sorry, I'm not going to allow you to get cheap laughs like that. <laughs> now, that's Barry Cryer's job. Barry. Well, that rules out squirrels and probably most common British rodents. Is this something that anyone can have down their trousers? Or... Do you need special equipment? <laughs> Just something to wipe your eyes with, I think, Barry. Felicity. Mr. Scrimshaw, it looks as if it's enjoying itself in there. Is it a sausage dog? It is not a sausage dog, Bunty. If I was going to put this down my trousers, would it be advisable, first of all, to lag my... We interrupt this program to bring you news of an accident on the M1. All three lanes between junctions 9 and 10 on the M1 are open. We apologise for this accident. <laughs> oh, media. I'm sorry I'm late. I came by helicopter and the pilot had a nasty accident. The ejector seat? Yes, I'm afraid so. Oh. What's been going on here? It's something frightening, Brinsley. Something not of this earth. Look at this. Good heavens. It appears to be a microscope. <laughs> And that's not all. Ever since that horrible plant was here, everybody has started to act in a peculiar manner. Yes, I noticed it at rehearsals. But don't worry. I've informed the military. They'll take control soon enough. All right. <laughs> Nobody try anything funny or you'll get this show a bad name. I am a field marshal, Indiana clone of the Royal Fusiliers, black belt in cowardice, and a former Marmite soldier. <laughs> Till I lost both my crusts in the blitz. I just mounted a sentry outside, so you'll excuse me if I seem a little out of breath. Some strange extraterrestrial force has taken over people's bodies. Just as I thought. There's only one solution to a crisis like this. I wish we knew what it was. In the meantime, just sign this piece of paper, surrendering the planet Earth to a race of hideous monsters who burst out of people's chests at dinner. And I'll be on my way. It's a good thing that none of us have fallen prey to this evil force, otherwise we'd really be in trouble. Exactly. If you'd both like to wait here, I'll get my men to escort you to the safety of a concrete-lined trunk at the bottom of the Thames. <laughs> we can't thank you enough, Field Marshal. And here, something for your trouble. Rub it in three times a day. It works wonders. <laughs> and they said I'd never ride a bike again. <laughs> What have you done? What do you mean? That paper you signed. Fortunately, I signed it with my new health and safety standard lead-free pencil. You don't think I for a moment was taken in by that sham of an impersonation? You mean you think he? Yes, of course. Another victim of the alien body snatchers. You're right, of course. All the victims have one thing in common. They all have a... Yes. <laughs> Not you as well. Don't knock it till you've tried it. <laughs> I don't want a long thing like that. Oh. What a fickle woman. Soon the whole world will be like us. At this very moment, mankind is on the threshold of a new and magical era. All right, I suppose I could try it. Tell me, can you smell things properly with it? Well, yes, of course. 
Can you smell the scent of roses lingering on this flower press? Well, I should think so. Just a minute. Let me see. Oh, yes, of course. <laughs> Why does it always have to end like this? After that, I went to the nearest police station and told them my story. They said I was mad, but it's true, I swear it. Intelligent life forms from another planet are taking over our bodies. What a load of rubbish to write no such thing. Doctor, the American space probe has just sent back these close-ups of the planet Mars. What did I tell you? There is no intelligent life form on another planet. <laughs> Coming next week, from the golden age of steam video, nudist of slender means. <laughs>